Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Blaze on TV. I'm your host, Spontaneous Seven, along with Jay Already Famous. And we got a special group in the house. <laughs> if you guys don't know already, you want to introduce yourself? Uh, Taj Gibson uh, of the New York Knicks. What's good, man? It's your boy Juve, um, recording artist, RB artist. Yeah, it's Corey, CEO of All You Can't Music Group, record label. Okay, okay, guys. We'll get, we'll get comfortable, guys. I know Corey. Is your house too? Is your home too? Get comfortable. Like, you know? I thought he was in the league as well. I'm like, what the hell is this dude, yo? <laughs> okay, okay. I thought you was like with Taj and on a low. No one. Yeah, just balling. Then we got the legend in the building, yo. Thanks for coming, bro. Straight out of Jersey. Definitely, man. Yeah. And of course, our own Brooklyn native. Definitely, definitely. How long you been doing music for? No. Oh. Man, I've been doing music since I was like four years old. Four years old. Started taking it serious when I was like 11. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Um, any any inspirations that got you into music, or you just it just came? Um, inspirations. It was definitely like Usher. Oh wow. Yeah, Usher really gave me some inspiration. Uh, Chris Brown, listen to his music. I was singing when I was little. You don't even hear that in this day and age. Like you said Usher, like yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with him, but I just you don't know, you don't hear that, you know. Yeah. yeah, so like I was acting, you know, at first doing like musicals, and I was like thinking like, wow, this this music is like something I really want to do. Mm -hmm. So I started taking lessons and started doing cover videos on YouTube. Nice. I started getting out from it, you know what I'm saying? And then I even know you acted. Video. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. That's, that's good under your belt, <laughs> like for real. So where did you act at? Like did you um you did it for school, yeah, like high school, school and all like, that? You know, just little school plays. Things. When I was okay. little, I was like twelve. That's good that it's on your resume though. Yeah. Like, yeah. cause like you know, even as a, a music artist, you still gotta perform, and mm -hmm. just because you have those acting classes, that can also help you perform. Yeah. Exactly. You dance as well, or? Yeah, I dance. Cause I'm like, you said Usher and Chris Brown, so I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, it was definitely something that put me towards the direction to just, you know, do music and sing. That's something I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So, um, right now, what you mainly trying to get into doing, the dance, the music, what's your main focus right now? My main focus right now is just to record music. Okay. Um, just like, I do R&B, like hip-hop music, so I just want to stay in the studio, okay. put out great content, do videos, you know, just show my supporters, show my fans, you know, what I got going on right now. And um, you know, just just do my thing. That's it, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, so you got like a project out mm. right now, or? Uh, right now we got a project. I got a single out. It's called Cash Out. Okay. Um, World Camp Music Group. Um, you know, you know, we doing it big. You know, we dropping singles. We we just pushing. You know, trying to get you know out there. Respect. Jersey, Brooklyn, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You doing any okay. uh, showcases or anything like that around um, the? Showcases, you know. It's, it's coming, you know. Just, okay. I've been doing a few, few there. You okay. know, I'll probably do a concert, open up soon. Okay, cool. Things like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I definitely yeah. gotta come oh, check out your go. shows. Yeah, oh. opened up um, A Boogie from my college. Actually, oh, yeah? It's really interesting. What college? Get out of here. Yeah, I go to Montclair State. Oh, Montclair? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and you opened for A Boogie? Yeah, open, yeah, open up for A that's Boogie. Dope. And that was really like. How was that? It was, it was oh, life changing. Yeah, it was really actually cool. actually wanted to sign him. Really? Right off the bat. CEO Hopper's told me, like, like you should get your record label going, bro. Like I signed him, but it won't benefit you as much. So I'm glad that he told you that because yeah, they don't usually tell you that yeah, in the music yeah, industry yeah. at all. He told me yeah. as a friend, like it's money and it's business, bro. And you got him. I know you got your own team and your family. Get your record label going. That's when we started, bro. You came music group and Taj came along with me, helped me out. With Did you and Taj grow up together by any chance? Or? Well, uh, Corey's been uh, like a nephew to me for many years. Uh, his best. His uncle was my best friend. Uh, uh, he's locked up right now, um, but Corey's been with me for my whole career. He's seen highs and lows, uh, the money, the lifestyle, uh, just knowing how to just be a man and, and understand boundaries. So when he said he wanted to, to start his own um, like record company and, and do what he wants to do, I, I jumped right on and I saw the potential in Uve and I felt like it's a win-win. And uh, right now we're in the grassroots, but the hunger is there. Um, we've been working pretty hard, but uh, I'm inspired just to uh, 
just to be along for the ride because you got two young men that's really pushing for their dreams and um, I'm, I'm excited about it. That's good that you support nice. them. That's mm -hmm. really good. And they got somebody to look up to and, you know, give a hand that's been out there mm -hmm. with, with the exposure and mm -hmm. the people all around. So you give them a little advice. That's good. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. good. You're a great role model to have more than one way, you know? Appreciate it, I think. Yeah. Low key, do you do music? No. Oh, you yeah. never know. <laughs> like, he looks like he do music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either, you know, either music yeah. or basketball. Yeah. One or the other. Yeah. Which one you doing, bro? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I went because at first I knew he was the artist, but then I was like, okay, is this the partner that you know the hype man? Like, how is this working? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, I understand. Yeah. Are you open to like doing outside of music, like even like a TV show hit you up? So yeah, we want you to act because you already do acting. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that would be dope. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay. And you write your own music? Yeah, I write my own music. So you could be a writer on your own TV show. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, because you already got... It's it's amazing that you tell me you act, you know, because a lot of music artists, I always tell them it's room to grow. Mm -hmm. And for you to act, you know, you could always add that on to say, you know, I want to make my own show. Yeah. And then have your own music with other artists underneath the, you know, role you can't. Yeah. You know, that's the business, you know, make that chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... That's what's up, bro. Definitely, man. Anything I can do to help, you know, anything Blaze on TV can yeah, do to help, do, let yeah, us definitely. know, man. For real, for real. Sure. Always have, you, you know, yeah, help sure. release yeah. music, a couple of DJs, you know, get in circulation. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. appreciate your work. Yeah, definitely. We definitely will. You shot any music videos in Jersey, anywhere in Jersey, or like, do you always try to like venture out? Yeah. My last video was in New York City. I don't think I shot a video in Jersey yet. Okay. But when I do it in Jersey... I know your family and friends is yeah, all out there, so... Yeah. When, when I do shoot a video in Jersey, it's, it's going to be big. That's what's going to be next. Yeah. yeah. do something for, like, yeah. community. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how good. it's that's always, always about, man, for real. Yeah. That's a good manager right there. That's what I'm talking about, Corey. Yeah. Corey, you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Corey knows the vibes. The kids gonna remember that. Definitely. Him. That's the deal. Back to school. You should do it back to school, because a lot of artists are doing that this um this past summer. I was about a few, um, out at a few events. They were doing a back to school, you know, giveaway backpacks yeah. or whatever, you know, small things. Taj, did, Taj, Taj did, did that too, did, you know. Yeah. Not, Taj, you know, he he did on um, Four Green Family Day. Yeah, yeah. that was big. That yeah. was big. Yeah. He gave back to the community. Taj always gave back to the community. Yeah, yeah. And any Royal you camp tours? Uh, we, 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 as of right now, um, we waiting for April B to drop his album, Artist 2.0. That's a big, like, step, just to even yeah. just be like, yo, I'm yeah. getting some music, so, do my so music. We actually talking with um, Boogie Manager right now about having him open up, like, the entire tour. Oh, wow, season, that's big. So, so that's the goal, man. You got to aim high. Yeah. That's what's up, man. I hope it works out for you. Yeah. Which it will, you know. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna work out because you, you already speak it to him. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know, you know so like I have in the studio with him. We be in the studio and stuff. Uh, they how, how was it? Up yet together, but they working too. Oh, they working. Yeah. So, so you've been in the studio with A Boogie. Yeah. What other artists you've been around in the studio? Don Q probably also. Yeah. Uh, P and B Rock. Okay. Oh, oh nice. Lil Duke. Lil Duke. Lil Duke. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you already famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep around, like, yeah. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Eyes open, look around, learn. Just learn yeah. artist, yeah. artist development. Just try yeah. to just uh, yeah. let cool. the music speak for itself. Mm -hmm. Right now, he's just locked in the studio. Uh, just, mm -hmm. just working on the, the small things for right now. That's good. That's good. Well, you ready? Yeah, yeah. You got, you got all fact. these people fighting for you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So, you know, you yeah. just got to do what you got to do, you know? That's you're lucky to have the extra push, you know? That's a fact. And, you know, for me and you, I could tell that you're focused and mm -hmm. that you know what you got to do and you, you're just like, I got to execute it. I appreciate it. So I know you're just waiting just to prove and show everybody what you can do. Yeah, I'm sure you. you're definitely going to do it. Thank you. Anywhere specific you want to perform at? Like, that's like... You could just see, like, I got to I gotta be there. Can I, I? I can tell you that right now. Yeah. That's Madison Square Garden. We had a word? Opportunity. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You did? Wow. We had an opportunity at the power of it. So he the recent on, one. He was in Miami. Miami. He was going to open up for the G4 boys. But he was in what? Miami shooting a video to an unreleased video. We ain't released it yet. But he shot a video to his um, single called Down. And we, we got the opportunity, like, last minute. And it was too much with the flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. We had the opportunity. Yeah. Hey, wow. as long as it presented itself, you know you're in the right place. It's going to happen again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a fact. If it happened once, it's going to happen again, you know? Yeah. That's not that little fluke. Any, so anybody in your family in the arts? Like, nah. No? Not, you not, you not the only one? Yeah, I was like, 
right, right doing it. That's it. That's what's up, though. No, I'm really proud of you, man, for real, just to even hear, like, how, how you start. And how did you start, though, like, just how did you know that you wanted to be a musician? All right, so um, I was, I'll take it back to the time when I recorded my first song. Mm -hmm. It was with my boy, um, Dan Z, but now he's uh, Take a Day Trip, yeah. the producer. They um, work with uh, Lil Nas. Oh, nice. They work with um, Sheck West. They did Mo Mamba. Mm. Okay. So I was in the studio with him, and he was in college at the time. And I had hit him up, and uh, I was like, yo, bro, I need to record my own first song. Mm -hmm. So I went to a studio, recorded my first song, and then um, he was telling me, like, yo, that's crazy, bro. Like, you really have vocals. Like, you could sing, man. Uh -huh. Like, you really could sing. You got to keep awesome. pushing, keep staying in the studio. And I was like, yo, Did you I'm, I'm going to just stay in it. I'm just like, keep pushing. I'm just keep recording, keep doing what I'm doing. It might take a long time, but I know yeah, patience. when I do come blow on, up, it's going to be a on, very right, long right. time. You know, I'm, I'm not here to rush nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm humble. Yeah. I'm just trying to just work and, you know, just... Do it for myself mm -hmm. and for my family and friends. You know what I'm saying? Nah, That's definitely. Uh, I respect that. Let me ask you one question because I see you got the Thames on. Yeah. Are you dancing enough? Are you dance worthy to dance with the Thames on too? Oh, yeah. Are you at that level uh, yet? Or you, know, know. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, old Not school really. 90s, you know, they were yeah. just wild out. Like, yeah. like, yeah. I saw you walk in, I'm like, all right, I gotta <laughs> ask him, man. Yo, I, I don't think they look kind of fresh yet. I don't think you want to Yeah, I don't want to. Nah, he wants to creep stuff. Though, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, if he just came like out of this, you know what I'm saying, this yeah, gliding. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, bro. So you in the fashion too, I see. Yeah, I like fashion a lot. This man's into fashion a lot too. <laughs> like, he, 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 he like being drippy. We had you know what I'm saying? We I, like, did, I had a meeting with um, Warner Music Group yesterday. We was up at Warner Music Group. And he was like, I see he flashy, he flashy, dip. But, but we, we about to switch off that drip. And we'll keep <laughs> yeah. the urban outfit is vans, you know? <laughs> keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. But you know, I like all types of like fashion. I like, you know, if I go Dior's, I can rock vans too. I, could, I like all types yeah. of different things, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, you gotta be flexible with all. Mm -hmm. Taj, you music? Hmm? You do music? <laughs> no. You gotta ask. You never no. know. He's the DJ. No, you know why? Team. Because <laughs> some <laughs> NBA ball players do music do low yeah, key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's then all of a sudden they it's could rap. Lot. And I'm like, oh, I don't even know you could yeah, rap. Yeah, like, yeah. Damn, damn, rap, Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. What about DJ, you know? Nah, no DJ. Nah, I live. He's listening to I, did, I, I like being in the studio, catching the vibe, but yeah, I let, I let them handle that. I have a good question. What keeps you close to home? Because you know, like, when you get to that level, it's mm -hmm. like, it's time to dip, you know? Uh, just, just being able to, uh, like, just knowing how important it is to go back because um, every, every generation is always a separation, and that separation comes when uh, people leave the neighborhood and don't tend to come back. Yeah. Sometimes they need to, we need a chance to hug each other. Like when I go, when I come back, I always see people that I grew up with, but they're out of touch with what's going on in, the, in, the, in, in New York City, in, in the outskirts, basically. So the outside realm. So my thing is just coming back and trying to see, see my face uh, so I can hear them talk and then try to bridge the gap with what they want to do. Like, you see, it's a lot of gentrification right now. Yeah. I'm trying to bridge the gap with that by just letting them know I'm here, I'm educated enough to know what's going on, and I'm not going to settle for what's going on here now. I'm, I understand. I'm here to make sure the neighborhood gets what they are entitled for. Nice. And um, that's what we need. We need more people to come back. We need to touch each other. We need to hold each other accountable, and we need to love each other. And that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, UVA is going to be a big part of that. And um, this man right here has been a big part of that, and uh, we just we just yeah. Grown. I didn't even know you was from Fort Greene until he told me. Yeah. yeah. And he hit me up one day. He was like, "Yo, Taj out here shooting around." I'm like, what do you mean he's shooting around? <laughs> like, <and> then, I, <laughs> honestly, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy because like uh, my route to the to get to the league it was crazy. I was I'm from Fort Greene. I've been playing in New York my whole life, but I had to leave. The New York Gauchos sent me to California. So okay. I was in California from high school to college. So I was just out there. They was like, just stay out there. Just do what you got to do. And when I, all those things transpired, I, I was able to make it. But it wasn't easy. But I try to just be as much as I, of, as much as I can, just be in my neighborhood. But you never know. Sometimes you got to leave the pond to, to be successful. Yeah. And, and uh, every day I, I'm thankful for it. But it's still tough because, you know what I'm saying, like, I was over there for so long, and I have such a big gap of kids that 
I missed out on, and I'm just trying to catch up and, and, and bridge that gap and get back to knowing who everybody is, and that's why I'm so into the projects, into the community the way I am now. Yeah, yeah he is big time. Um, ever since he left, like, he always he always came back. Like, mm -hmm. he always came, every year he came back. So, like, whatever mm -hmm. it was to break in the NBA, he always came back. Mm -hmm. and you always that's love, him. though. You mm -hmm. always seen him. And, mm -hmm. you know, he mm -hmm. talks to everybody. So I just talk to everybody. So I just find him anywhere, you know, from my experience, you know, since mm -hmm. I know him mm -hmm. from the neighborhood. He was outside. Yeah. <laughs> he pulled up. <laughs> he pulled up. Yeah. Do you think um, you being, like, still constantly coming back to your neighborhood, mm -hmm. do you think is that's what makes you stay humble, continue to stay humble, especially with the level you are? Uh, I think I'm a, uh, that, that could be, that's, that's, the, that's one of them. Yeah, I think that is, that could possibly be one of the, uh, Attributes to have. You walked me. in here just chilling. I was like, oh, but, um, yeah, but okay. the thing about yeah, it, I had, which is cool, but you know what? I've been around so much and yeah, you don't yeah. see that. I'm just gonna be honest. So. Yeah, but it's like I've been around, I had so many different odd jobs growing up. Mm -hmm. So I understood what it was and I understand the uh, humility of just being humble. I worked at a few jobs downtown Brooklyn. I, I, I worked the moving company, I worked for a garbage company. Where I was really on my almost on my on my hands and feet picking up garbage, picking up boxes, chain gang. So I always remember the guys who worked with me, guys who came back from felonies, guys who just did 20 years in jail, guys who had no education. And every day that kind of rubbed off on me. And I was like, you know what? I got to always remain humble because I can never forget these guys. Understand. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, it molded me the right way, but I had a lot of fights in Fort Greene. Mm -hmm. Even when I felt like I was a man, I got my jaw, I got my jaw wide. You still see the same people? Oh, same people, but the same people that beat me up were yeah. my best friends. Can get a picture with you. <laughs> same, yo, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's good. For, it's good to keep you keep keep you level headed, cause it's like how you got it. It can always be going tomorrow. At any, any yeah. moment. Mm -hmm. At any moment. And I respect and I respect that at you. Mm -hmm. Don't let the superstar status, you know, get to you because a lot of people that that happens to them, and mm -hmm. and I can say like it's always good to be a regular human being like everybody else. And yes, you know, yes. You know, yes. Some people bless, some some aren't, but it's it's great that you just you know try to give what you mm -hmm. can back to the community. Like the like I don't know, it's just me. I, things, the bright lights and all those things, that's never really was like important to me. Yeah, I understand. Like right now, the situation, my goal is to help him try to be the set more successful. As he can possibly be, it's his dream to be pl playing in Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden. That's my that's my goal to try to push him as high as he can to get to Madison Square Garden. Once he goes high as he can, he can help the next group of kids that we need to help go forward, and that's the main thing. How did you meet him? I was about uh, to ask that. Yeah, because I know uh, through know. Corey, and Corey's like, Corey is like my nephew. Like whatever he says, he vouches for. I'm going for. It. Cause he's that's how that's how tight we are and that's how much we put in pain. And when I've been around Uve, I done heard I done heard him and I done been around him enough. He's been in my house many times. I just feel his energy. I feel I see I see his goal. He's just a young man trying to do what he has to do. He has a mother. He has family that he's trying to support. And I understand that. I was once in that same position. And I'm trying to push him and help him help his family. That's one thing about our community. We gotta do a lot better job of just supporting each other, holding each other accountable, but at the same time, hugging each other and embracing each other while we still here. Mm -hmm. Corey, how you met him? I met him, actually I was managing another artist from Brooklyn. And like my Instagram, I get a lot of attention on my social media. That's why everybody always tell me like, yo bro, you should rap, you should rap, you should rap. So he hit me up like, yo, on the DM, like, yo bro, like he actually had a friend of mine that was like, yo, bro, I, I don't wanna like fuck with y'all. But I was I'm the I was ahead and yeah. you know what I'm saying? So he re so he, he actually reached out to me. So I'm like, um, so send me some music. That's what I told you. Yeah. Like, I'm like, send me some music, send me some music. I actually listened to the music. Cause sometimes you'd be like, yeah, send me music, but you know what I'm saying? I actually yeah. went on his page. Mm -hmm. I listened to the music. I'm like, yo, this dude yeah. is singing. This dude can sing. Yeah. I'm like, yo, nah, he can say I'm showing people, I'm showing girls. Like, you was out when you first listened to it? Or you out and about, or was you like in the I crib? I think I was driving. Okay. But I, I don't really listen to music as I drive, so I'm still looking at it on my phone. I'm like, oh, nah, he can sing, he can sing. So I text him, I'm like, yo, bro, we're going to meet up. All right. So I think the first time we were supposed to meet up, it didn't happen, right? Mm -hmm. Then the second time we met in um, Soho, 
We met in Soho, we was talking, we talking. We built a relationship before we did any type of like paperwork and stuff yeah. like that. And That's then, good though, keep it genuine too. Yeah, so mm -hmm. then from there I had started managing him. Like we did a management contract. So as I managed him, that's when I got him to open up a boogie at his school, at his college. Mm -hmm. So the um the concert was like crazy. Like the people that didn't even know that he go to the school, so he performed and they stopped the music. He did his vocals and then he let the yeah. crowd know, like you know what's crazy, I go here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then when he, we had our own little. That's what's own, up. Crazy. It's a good feeling, right? I know. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. But Just to years, backtrack a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, but for years we always had artists like approach us, but we was just cool. We was just, yeah. we always had barbecues at my house in LA. We always had different mm -hmm. artists come by. People would come, relax. Many ball players, we would just be chilling, but they were like, yo, you want to think about managing us? You have to think about getting into music? Yeah. We always brushed it off like, ah. But then one day, Corey's like, we can, re I can, we can really do this. Mm -hmm. But Corey is like at that stage now where he's, he's at one point where I was out all the time. He's out yeah. and about, he has his own wave now. So he's running with it, and now I'm like, "You really want to do this?" He's like, "Yo, babe, we can yeah, do this. Yeah, like, we one -on -one. we don't yeah. really want any anything from the artists. We want to push good music. We want to push artists, and at the same time, we already have finances. We don't really yeah. want much from an artist. Yeah. That's true. We just trying to help them oh, get off, yeah. do what they can, push them yeah. forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if it, if it happens, it happens. But we, we, I'm more so. We more so trying to push the artists, do what they gotta do, and build on for for more kids and more artists for the future. That's my ultimate goal, honestly. Yeah, right, do you have any more artists under under the camp? Uh, as of now, no, we, yeah. we really focus on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. We want him to be main face. We want him to go. After he goes, set that tone. Yeah, after he set the tone, mm -hmm. we'll look at other people from there. Okay. But since he done started, the DMs be it be crazy. Crazy, right? yeah. crazy. After him, it's just like the gigs and like having him in the backstage of the bar like, yo, having him around yeah, certain it's stuff. Yeah. It's just other artists in my DM. Hey, bro, can you miss me? Hey, bro, can you miss me? Can now, do you listen to them while you driving? I, 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 <laughs> there's a few people I looked at. I looked at their music. Cause, I have him on the back. Cause you know he went through the same thing. You said you wasn't gonna. I have him on the back of my mind. I will never forget. Cause that's like me. I was a hoop guy once, and I went to showcases and different college coaches. You understand? Yeah. It wasn't interesting me right now, but later on they'll give me a call two years later. Like, oh yeah, I remember you from the showcase in Pittsburgh. So that's how it'll be. We are gonna make sure he main face mm -hmm. and he go. And I remember a few artists that DM me. Like, hey, listen to my music, and I'll see if they sign. If they free, then we can work, you know? Before that moment of him hitting you up, what was your life like, like, as far as goals? Goals? I, it was really, I was really, like, on some investment time. I just had my real estate license. I had okay. my real estate license as a sale person. So I was looking into that. I got my license. And actually, I was still managing my other artist, Jeezy Moolah. I think I've heard of, I've heard of him. I never yeah. actually like listened to his music. Yeah, I just heard the name because my I girl live out here. So yeah, I managed him. We went up to Def Jam. We had um Columbia interested in Rock Nation. So okay. He, he he incarcerated right now, but he'll be back soon. That's mm -hmm. good. That's good. Mm -hmm. So right now, um, who's interested in um Juve? We we met with Universal. Mm -hmm. We met with Three Hundred Entertainment, and also we met with um yesterday I met with um Warner Music Group. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. just out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, just, mm -hmm. These are big names, too. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah we're in the office. They love him. Bro, I respect yeah. that, bro. Yeah, you gotta work, man. They're talking about Nickelodeon. Gotta work, yeah, 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 bro. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. You like, like Nickelodeon and yeah, yeah, my acting. You can do anything. Disney Channel. Like, Warner Music. Something like that. You know what you should also look into? Voice over. Dying his hair, really? Voice over. See yourself on a cartoon. They see him in a lane of less is more lane. Oh, like, the yeah. artists that have a lot of money, but yeah. not flashy, yeah, yeah. that's what they see. Mm -hmm. so that's what they, that's yeah. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think my talent really speaks more for itself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Once you hear it, that's good. Yeah, You're going to go far, for real, for real. And you yeah. got a good team with you. Yeah, yeah you got a good support team. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's big. And you're talented, and that's even better. So you got to add them. Thank you. You'll get there. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Nah, well, love, man. The next time we see you, we're going to be like, yo, can we get a ticket to come, man? <laughs> yeah, I get whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh well, yeah. everything. I'm like, God Corey. Yeah, like, God you don't know me no more. Like, me and Todd, we, we kind of we similar. Like, personality, mindset. Like, yeah, yeah. Nah, y'all good vibes, bro. All three, like, yeah, y'all good vibes. You can be with somebody who won't remember your face. And they be like, yo, who that? I won't forget y'all. You can't forget. I got blonde hair. Like, like, how we are. I got blonde mm -hmm. hair, you can't forget me. <laughs> like, yo. Yeah, are they playing um, your song on the radio yet, or? 
Uh, they played a few of my older songs on the radio a long time okay. ago, but we're going to do that. It's coming in soon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. I'll try to like hit up some of the people I know, like Hanes mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. And throw the, throw your music their way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, every hope. Yeah, anything, anything, we, yeah. anything, everything's a blessing. Yeah. Thank the you. The DJs I know, I'm gonna give it to them. Especially you singing. That's the good thing about it, cause there's not too many male singers in this yeah. day and age. So like, that's a great outlet. Yeah. If you was rapping, it's like, okay, we gonna try because yeah. it's so many rappers, you know. So yeah, I like that you say you singing, you know, at the same time because it creates your own lane alone. Mm-hmm. You know, five. and you dancing too, so you just killing the game. <laughs> like for real, yeah. it's easy for you to do a video and just go viral. Okay. Mm-hmm. So um, for everybody at home, tell them um, the projects or what's, where they can find you at. Yeah, so um, y'all can catch me. Um, my Instagram is at I'm Uve. Um, Twitter, Facebook, everything's at I'm Uve. Got my song Cash Out. Go check that out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guys. Thank y'all for having me. I appreciate you, you for really coming, man. Definitely. All three of you, man. Thank mm-hmm. you. And you know, um, remember the name, Roll Camp Music Group. You know, we just doing it big, man. Let's go. Anything you want to add, Corey? Uh, shit, just be on the lookout. We I like Corey, man. He just love life. He just love life, y'all. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> he just love life. He's calm. He's like, he's going to work yeah, out. I'm mean, just... <laughs> He's like, Jermaine, he's just chilling. Chillin'. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when I meet new people, they be like, yo, I fuck with him. He always yeah, I like your vibes, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's good, though. That's good. Cool. Taj, Taj, anything you want? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, buddy, um, you want to reach you? My uh, Instagram is Taj Gibson. Uh, Twitter, Taj Gibson. Uh, just hit me up. Uh, just willing to just see what other artists is out there, uh, how we can help, and uh, let's keep this thing going. Okay. And mm-hmm. you forgot the most important thing. What's that? <laughs> you gonna bring us to the finals, right? Man, we just first thing first. First thing first. First thing first is uh, training camp. Uh, okay. So it's gonna be a. Uh, I think it's gonna be a phenomenal season. Okay. I wanna put my foot in my mouth, but uh, we got a lot, of, a lot of hungry guys. But uh, looking forward to uh, just wearing orange and blue and representing the city. Uh, it's a dream come true. Um, I'm happy, man. I'm happy, I'm happy you were here because mm-hmm. I see all that work you put in on all the other teams. I'm like, damn, mm-hmm. I know. you be, you be at the game court? Yeah. yeah, I've been. Yeah. You be all, you chilling? I've been out the country at the game. Yo, every time, every minute, huh? Every minute, so. Corey, like, yo, where you at, yo? You, which side of the court you on? You at that corner? All right, I'm right there. <laughs> I'll be at real quick, real quick, guys. What was your um, favorite game that you can remember that you ever playing or something? Uh, period. Any what? What you mean? Like, what's your, what's the most um, momentum, like, game that you ever had? League-wise. League-wise. It had to have been after uh, losing and losing the six man award to uh, Jamal Crawford, who is, which is a, who is a great, a good, yeah. a great friend of mine. Um, it was, that game I had in the playoffs, it was against Washington. After That's a tough after, decision too. After time. after losing the award, I was I was crushed. But that next game, I had 38 points off the bench. Wow! And uh, it was a playoff game. We lost, but that was a that was that was one of my best games coming off the bench. Nice. Wow. You do your thing, like you know, watching you as a fan. Mm-hmm. You know. Big accomplishments, man. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I wish you the luck, you know, wish the Knicks luck. Sure. And before you know it, you may be opening up for the um for the Knicks. That's right. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm just going to put that in the air real that's quick. Go. You know what I'm All saying? Money in. That, I'm putting All that money in the air like, like for the universe yeah. to just feel that, you mm-hmm. know? For real, that'd be a big one, too. Yeah, because they're going to be just looking at you like, you know, it may be the face of the Knicks. Single ones. Corey got the suit on, like, 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 like I'm like Diddy. I think you should be moving like he the president. Like <laughs> you know, like you never know. Maybe that one day you may be. You may be feeling himself one day. It's always room for growth, man. Yeah. <laughs> you made it throw it on one day. That's why I went to training for the real estate. But then my boy tried to tell me to wear a suit to record label me. I'm like, nah. So you never wear a suit? So hold on, all right. So you know what? Nah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. We go to some some cable vision shit. So you know what I'm saying? So like, 
Then I might throw on a suit because everybody around me knows. Yeah, I'll put you. Nah, I definitely understand. You gotta come in and chill. They know what they signing. They know. Come in and just chill. They don't want to come in there looking shop and then they see you with some. Nah, definitely understand. Like, oh, I thought this dude was in this spot. Come in how you are. Come in how you are, yeah. Keep it real with yourself. Yeah. Respect. That's for you. That's for So, one more thing before you leave out of here. You gotta perform. You gotta perform, man. You gotta perform for us. Yeah, you gotta see something. Yeah, you gotta perform for us. <laughs> yeah, you gotcha. So just you so we can say we have the exclusives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He was here first doing your thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. definitely. Thank you, folks. But um, yeah, thank you guys for coming out. You know, I appreciate all you guys. You know, mm -hmm. all your hard work, sweat, you know, everything. Thank you. Definitely, thank you. Mm -hmm. Blessings to your future, so, everything, thank families. You. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Like, appreciate you guys. Right, anytime, man. Thank you. Appreciate it's a great opportunity. Like Corey had good vibes, man. <laughs> yo, bro, you smile. Y'all like, like Corey, yo. For real. Bro. Uh-huh. Thanks, bro. Right. Definitely, man. Hey, who bro. plays with us, man? Oh. Uh, we gonna get you on. And shout yeah. out to my boy Muse, man. He out there, man, in the camera section doing his thing, man. He's yeah. the reason why we be, you know, having this good stuff right here, man. Appreciate it. In the you. setup, man. Just Sean. Yeah. Sean, mm -hmm. too, man. Shout out to Sean, man. My guy. I, I see him through the mirror. That's how he got right there. That's right. <laughs> All right. So thank you, everybody, for coming, checking out Blaze on TV, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Pull up in a 
Fendi. I might cause a frenzy. They just wanna get inside. And I just wanna do my thing. So tell them all to come on through. Yeah. All these bitches fuck with me. Yeah, they fuck with me. You acting like you stupid. Don't you play me. You follow with my moves, but I'm on my lonely. Every time I'm at the ball, yeah, you steady call me. Throwing all these ones, all them dances crazy. Yeah, they shake that ass and they make an earthquake. I got different types of girls that can run it all fast. If you ain't talking cameras, baby. Don't you think I'm loving? I ain't loving. I'm up to something. Yeah. I got a new piece on my neck. These hoes trying to be up next. I be dripping water when they see me. They just wanna have a chance. All these bitches fuck with me. Yeah, they fuck with me. You acting like you're stupid. Don't you play me. You following my moves, but I'm on my lonely. Every time I'm at the ball, yeah, you steady call me. Throwing all these ones, all them dances crazy. Yeah, they shake that ass and they make an earthquake. I got different types of girls that can run it all fast. If you ain't talking cameras, baby girl, you won't last. Back, back, back it up, back it up. I'ma show you how to wreck it up, wreck it up. I flip the bag, flip the bag, then I stash it up. Back, 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 back it up, back it up. All these bitches fuck with me, yeah, they fuck with me. You acting like you're stupid, don't you play me. You following my moves, but I'm on my lonely. Every time I'm at the ball, yeah, you steady call.